Hello YouTubers. In this video, we're going to see PWM to fade the LED. We use timer and uh, we have the circuit like this. It's very simple. The ground connected to a shorter pin of the LED. The longer pin of LED connected to a 220 ohm resistor. Other side of resistor connected to pin PA1. For anybody who doesn't know how the breadboard connection works, I have made a separate video here and they can watch. And now the diagram is here. And now we go to uh, STM32 cube IDE. I have already opened the cube IDE and I have already given the name. If anybody doesn't know how the cube IDE works and for the doing simple blink sketch, there is a video here uh, they can watch. Otherwise, this is a simple project. We go, we click system core, click sys, and uh, click debug serial wire. Now we click timers and click TIM2. For the clock source, we click internal clock. And for the channel 2, we select channel 2 and PWM generation CH2. Now you can see the PA1, pin PA1 is selected. For the configuration, uh, for the parameter setting, uh, prescaler, we need to give 127, 127. And for the counter period, we need to change it to 625, 625. It's very simple setting. That's all we need to do. Now we can save. It will generate the code. While it's generating, uh, I have created a web page. I have given all the codes, whatever we need to do, that's available in in this web address, I have given this one in the description. If you go there, and the diagram is here, and the picture is here, and the cube ID setting we've already done is here. Now the code, it's here. We can copy and paste, and this user code begin to inside. We copy this one, and we go to cube ID, and we go to user code begin to here we paste it we paste that one now we go back there again and in the while loop we need to copy from here up to here only little code we copy it and we go to the while loop here and we paste it here. That's all. We can save. Now we can compile. It's all good. Zero error. Now make sure you have already plugged in ST link. Now we can click the run button, green button, and click the debugger. I usually use open OCD it work with the all the boards and so generate option this one and go below for the reset mode software system reset click apply click OK now it's uploading the code here you can see the progress here it's all the codes uploaded I have uploaded the code I connect to the power bank power supply. When I switch it on, I show you closely. It's coming brighter, going down, coming up, going down. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.